Welcome to Landscape Photo Editing Sessions. So in this series, I'm going to show you my workflow and editing process for various landscape photos. So this photo here, I took this in Paradise Park Cliffs in Hawaii. So the first thing I'm going to do is open this in Lightroom and start making a few adjustments. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove that distortion and also enable remove chromatic aberration. I'm also going to straighten that out. Alright, the first adjustment I'm going to do is increase the vibrance and saturation so that I can adjust the white balance. So right now it's too blue so I'm going to adjust the temperature until the blue and the yellow is evenly balanced across the whole frame. Alright, I'm going to also give it a little bit more magenta. I'm going to reset those two vibrance and saturation. Alright, I'm going to add a medium contrast curve and reduce the highlights all the way and increase the shadows. So for this image, I want to balance out the sky and the foreground. I'm also going to increase the contrast. And for the blacks, I'm going to hold down Alt so I can see the clipping. And I'm just going to take that down a little bit to increase the contrast. And so just a little bit of clipping in the blacks. Alright, I'm going to also increase the vibrance and saturation a little bit to bring out that color. And then these greens are a little bit too bright for me, too saturated, so I'm going to take those down in the hue saturation adjustment and take down that green. Alright, I'm going to use a graduated filter and for the sky, I'm going to take down the exposure and I'm going to set that down. Alright, that's a little bit too much. I'm going to do it just a little bit and also reduce the highlights and increase the contrast. Alright, now I'm going to use the adjustment brush tool and start making some adjustments. So the first adjustment I'm going to do to the foreground and I want to warm that up a bit and increase contrast. So I'm just going to paint this along the foreground. Make sure that's painted in right. Also, I see a little bit too much magenta. I'm going to change the tint a little. I'm also going to take down the saturation. Increase the shadows a little bit and increase the contrast. And also the clarity. Alright, for the next brush, I'm going to adjust that wave. So I'm going to hold down Alt and click on that reset to reset the brush and for the wave I want to increase the contrast and warm that up a little bit.
All right, it's a little bit too much, too warm. Increase the contrast and also the clarity a little bit. And I'm also gonna create a new brush, reset that, and I wanna brighten this part of the foreground a, a little bit. I'm going to take down that saturation a little bit and the highlights. Increase the shadows just a little bit. And take down the exposure a little bit. Okay. So now I'm going to bring this into Photoshop. So in Photoshop, I'm going to make some, some specific curve adjustment layers. So what I want to do is increase the contrast in this waterfall part of the image. I'm going to do that by adding a curves adjustment layer and getting the exposure picker and picking a dark part of the image and a light part. And I'm going to add an S curve by taking down the shadows. All right, that looks good. And I'm going to invert that layer mask with Control I so that I can paint that in with a brush. So I'm going to use the soft white brush and I'm going to paint along the part that I want to be affected. Alright, I'm going to create another curves adjustment layer for the wave. So I'm going to pick a dark part and a light part and do another S curve. I'm just going to do a little bit, a slight S curve. Invert that mask and use a white brush and paint along the parts I want to be affected. All right, I'm going to do one for the sky too. So I'm going to pick a dark part and a light part. And I want to make a slight S curve. And paint that along the sky. The parts I want to be affected. All right, so that's pretty much it for the adjustments. And now I'm gonna show you how I process this for uploading to social media. So I'm just gonna go ahead and merge all those layers. And I'm gonna use an unsharpened mask to sharpen, do a global sharpening with the fine or with the full resolution image. So my settings are about 100% 1.5 radius and threshold I'll do about 2 and now I'm going to reduce the image size to a length or width and height of 1280 for the longest side so 1280 I do this for landscapes and portrait orientations and to do to give it that final extra sharpening, I'm going to use the Smart Sharpen tool with the amount at around 50% radius, 0.2% and reduced noise around 5%. So this will really bring out the fine details. So I'm going to press undo and I don't know if you can see that, 
but it really makes it look better. And I, I see this with lots of photos on social media. And photographers should always do a smart sharpen or some kind of sharpening just to take away that soft look. And this is the image I would upload to Facebook. So I'm going to save that for web with the maximum quality optimized unchecked. And this will result in a file about one megabyte. And when I upload this to Facebook, it won't have that compressed blocky look. Alright, thanks for watching this video and subscribe and like for more of these videos.